go. All right, so basically yesterday I showed you guys the uh, the infection I had on the beer. Uh, a couple different possibilities. It's either lacto or brett. Most likely, I think what we were looking at is brett, being that the berries were never sanitized uh, prior to uh, me putting them in a beer. Additionally, uh, there's a lot of talk possibly it's not lacto because when I put the berries in the in the beer, it was already nine percent and it still was able to survive that. So whatever uh, whatever kind of infection I have right now is pretty mean. So what we're going to look right now. So what I'm not looking forward to doing is something I have to do, and we are finally going to go ahead and taste this beer. I understand plenty of sour brewers do it all the time, and as whereas I want to get into sours like nobody's business, uh, I'm kind of forced into it right now, uh, kind of head first, I don't have a choice. So doing what all the other sour brewers do, and I'm going to have to taste this beer. So let's go ahead and take a look at the two different ones. I have the one with the vanilla and the one with oak. Uh, I do have a third carboy full of the same beer, same berries and everything, but it's not starting to show that bacterial growth, although I'm sure it's there whether it has... Uh, materialized already or not. So let's go ahead and take a look at the vanilla one first. So we're going to go ahead and take a sample here. If you want to come on closer, we're going to get a, a shot of inside the carboy as well. All right. So that film that I showed you yesterday is definitely getting a lot thicker. Although it's kind of hard to see with that darkness there. All right, let's go ahead and back up there for a second. We'll get some light on this here. I'm gonna go ahead and take a, a quick sample. And uh, so again, it's always important to realize that nothing in beer uh, is actually going can make you physically sick. Uh, it looks like we got a light. Let's see if we can get another picture of that with the light. You can see how much thicker it's gotten in just the amount of a day. So let's go ahead and we're gonna take this sample. You can make sure you get close here. I wanna see you. I wanna make sure you can see it breaking the skin here. You can see how this is pulling down in here. I'm not going to need a huge sample, nothing too large. But you can kind of see that bacterial growth on there. Let's go ahead and claim this sample. We're not really taking a gravity. We're not taking a uh, temperature or anything. This is all just about flavor. See if this is going to be worth keeping. Again, uh, you, you remember we did that uh, taste test last week. It was still good. That was prior to the infection uh, materializing. Still there. We'll kind of take a look what's happened. Now I'm going to say right now, it still smells pretty amazing. I'm sure I'm not the only one who thinks so. Uh, it's very strong raspberry smell. And you can still smell that, uh, that blackberry. So let's go ahead and do a quick rinse. We're already sanitized. All that bacteria is right here. A lot of bacteria growth here. I'm really, I'm kind of, uh, it's kind of a love hate what's about to happen with the with the wood one. We got a nice uh, bubbling going on. It looks a little bit like science experiments. And right directly down into the mouth of the carboy, it's um, it looks pretty amazing. It's a, uh, I mean, it's for lack of better words, it's pretty. It's actually a very pretty bacterial growth going on. Not looking forward to breaking that up, but again, we got to taste it. So let's go ahead. I understand the the irony of actually sanitizing before <laughs> checking on something with we already know that's infected. But again, it's not going to hurt. We'll go ahead and put the vanilla one there. Let's go ahead, and we're going to go ahead and take one last look at this before we break it up. Go ahead and take a look right down in the center of this. Again, let's go ahead and take a little bit closer of a look. Make sure we light up that carboy real quick. I mean, that's just, you can't ask for much better than that. I might have to take a shot of that out of the, out of the video so we have a picture. All right, so let's go ahead and take this sample real quick. We're gonna break that up. Again, not looking forward to doing it. Let's see what happens here. All right, so it's not pulling as hard as the other one. Let's go ahead and let that fill up for a second. And pull it out with a thief here. And again, this also smells just as good. So I have a lot of high hopes for this beer. I believe it's still something that we can definitely save. I'm going to go ahead and cap it, prevent any worse infection going on here.
right, so we got our airlock on there tight. We're good. You can kind of see all that bacterial growth right there on the wine thief that I'm using. And we'll go ahead and put it in. Now again, this has an amazing color to it. We're gonna go ahead and give you a look at that real quick. You can actually see, I mean, that looks, that's great looking color. Uh, it definitely has a great smell to it. I don't, it's not even really, I'm not even gonna get much of a sour smell. Uh, if nothing else, I'm just smelling a little bit of that wood. Uh, a little bit of the, of the, um, the white wine that will be soaked in, in that one. And this one, again, not even sour. So I'm having, you know, you can also see the color in that one. It's a great orange. You pull it away, you got some a great uh, reddish shoes in there. And so another reason why it's leading me to think it's more maybe a bread. But uh, when we're ready to go ahead and taste, we'll go ahead and come back to you.